Amber Gerard, and this is your news nightcap for October 23rd, 2017. If you like cupcakes, and I mean really like cupcakes, you have got to go to Flower Girls Bakery in West Mobile. No joke, but I probably go there three to four times a week. Sherry Pickett, she's the owner. And when I asked her how she got into the business, she said her kids. I have a son, and I could make his birthday cake. And, you know, if you can make something that like dirt, stick worms in it, you're a hero. If you want to go, these are some of your choices. Buttercream is our most popular. Red Velvet is the second. Strawberry, chocolate, kind of run a close third. Artemisia is my weakness. I love it. If you are thinking about starting your own herb garden this fall, go check out the herb garden at the Botanical Garden. This is an area in the gardens where all of the senses are used. It's taste, touch, fragrance. Then there are the health and spirituality aspects. More and more people are wanting to eat natural, eat healthy. Herbs are just a fabulous way to do away with the seasoning, the salts, the things that we've become so hooked on. I say get on out there to Lowe's, or actually even better, a local garden center, and get to planting. The Mobile Bay Keepers recently hosted an apple snail roundup at Langan Park. Apple snails are an invasive species, and they destroy habitat by eating vegetation along streams and river banks. Because they're not native to Mobile, they don't have a natural predator, so they eat and they eat and they eat and they reproduce and then they have millions of eggs. The snails were first introduced to the area through the aquarium trade. People want them because they are algae eaters, which is great when you have a fresh water tank. But unfortunately, when they outgrow their tanks, they are released into the wild. And in this case of Mobile, that means the lake at Langham Park and Three Mile Creek and its tributary. All the grasses that we have that are so vitally important, all of our wetlands for keeping our water clean, can get demolished by these critters. We have to stay after this, and frankly, we need to be doing it more than twice a year. So some of the best stories that I cover are church stories and celebrations. And one such event I have to tell you about. Emmanuel Seventh-day Adventist Church recently celebrated its 110th birthday, and it was the best church service that I've ever been to. Today, the church is located on Martin Luther King Avenue, and it's the first black organized church in Mobile. The original church began meeting at the YMCA in 1907. This is all I have to say. If you want to begin your weeks feeling good, make sure you win your weeks at this church. The 2017 Mobile Youth Football and Cheerleading Peanut Sea Youth Playoffs began this weekend. Games were being played everywhere. Four games were hosted at Cottage Hill Park alone. When I arrived, it was halftime, and the Eight Mile Giants were having a little vitamin C snack while the Maytree Park Saints were running a few drills. Apparently, the quarterback is having a little difficulty handing off the ball. And the coaches, they couldn't have been cooler. They were tough, but it was all tough love. And as I was leaving, the Cottage Hill Raiders were headed to weigh in. So little, so cute, perfect little stars in the making. The second round of playoffs takes place on October 28th, then it's off to the bowl game in November. Police are still investigating the shooting that happened last week at the Quick Pit gas station on St. Stephen's Road. 21-year-old Carlos Peoples was shot in the head and later died at the hospital. An 18-year-old unidentified man was also shot twice in the side but is expected to make a full recovery. Police are still looking for the person or persons that shot and killed one victim and shot the second victim in the leg. Police received a call reporting disorderly conduct. When they arrived at the scene on Aaron Street in West Mobile, they found the first victim dead. At some point, police say, the second victim's girlfriend was taking him to the hospital when she lost control of her car. She crashed here at the intersection of Cody and Old Shell. If you know any information, please give them a call. Police also need your help finding a witness or anyone that knows anything about a murder that happened on Palmdale, also in West Mobile. When police arrived, a 26-year-old woman was dead after being shot. So again, if you have any information, please give police a call. I'm Amber Gerard, and this is your News Nightcap. Have a wonderful Tuesday.